Ooh, ooh. You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder And in this basket, I have something super. Do you want to see what's inside? Okay, first we have super gloves. You think that's cool? I also have a super mask and super boots. But you look at that. You know, I'm only missing one thing. Do you know what that is? My super cape. Wow! Look at my costume! What color is it? That's right! It's red! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe! Who? Who? I see a red costume on you! Hi, Ollie! This is my super red costume. What do you think? Super red costumes are fun! It's true! I have a story about someone super powerful for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Hmm. I'm just not sure which one will work best. Oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. My niece's tire swing broke, and I'm trying to figure out what to use to hang the tire. It needs to be really strong. Which one do you think I should use? This fabric? This yarn? Or this rope? I think you're right. This red rope will work the best. Say, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. We have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about a city called Jericho. Oh. <laughs> and this man, Joshua. Joshua was the leader of God's army. Joshua sent two spies to explore the city of Jericho. Inside the city lived a woman named Rahab. Rahab heard how powerful God is. She believed in the great things God had done, and that made her strong and courageous. Believing how powerful God is made Rahab brave. It made her so brave that Rahab helped the two spies that Joshua sent to the city. Rahab let the spies hide in her house because so many soldiers in the city were looking for them. And if the soldiers knew that Rahab was hiding the spies, she would be in big trouble. But Rahab knew that the spies were friends of God, so she wanted to help them anyway. Then, when it was time for the spies to leave, Rahab was brave again and helped them get out of the city safely. As the spies were leaving, they told Rahab to hang a red rope outside her window. And when God's army came to the city, they would make sure Rahab and her family were safe. Later, when Joshua and God's army went to the city of Jericho, they saw the red rope and they remembered Rahab. God's army made sure Rahab and her family were safe. 
God helped Rahab to be brave and courageous. And God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Hmm. So there's your story, and it's all true. We can be brave and courageous because God is powerful. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho! Ho! Wow! Believing that God was powerful helped Rahab be super brave and do courageous things. God can help me be super brave, too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Now whenever I wear my red super costume, I can remember, just like Rahab, I can be brave because God is powerful. I'll see you next time. Bye! I don't know if I look like a superhero, but Noelle and I thought that, oh wait, I don't know where Noelle is, but we thought because our friend on our story was a superhero yeah. and our theme this month is being super and um, having super, um, being courageous and having God give us superpowers to be brave, we would dress as superheroes. So I am super Ange. And I have a little cape, little Don't tiny cape, I'll wear it over here, Don't introduce and a me. hat I'll and glasses. So while we wait for um, Noelle, her superhero self, we are going to talk a little bit about our story. Is it kind of weird that I'm wearing this and trying to talk to you? I kind of can't see you. It's a little bit hard. Kind of weird. <laughs> All right, kids. So today we got to hear about a superhero in the Bible. And what was her name? That's right, Rahab. So what you're gonna do today is when you print this up, you are going to reenact the story. Reenact means to tell the story again. And I have a couple of Noelle's dolls and one of them is this one. She's gonna be Rahab. And then these from Joshua's army, remember he sent spies. How many spies did he send? That's right, two. So look, one spy, two spies. So you're gonna restall the story. And I am hoping my superhero helper is here, Noelle, and I'm gonna introduce her to you now. All right, superhero fashionista, where are you? Oh, here she is. Here's our superhero fashionista with her hat and her cape and her is this like your wand a baton wand Ooh. all right so we are retelling the story superhero fashionista we're retelling the story of rahab and how she was so brave because who did she love that's right god she loved god and so the two spies were sent by joshua's army do, 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 and they went into town and rahab what did she do she said Come hide in here. So they went and hid in her house. And then they said, what we need you to do is we need you to put a red rope, something red, so you're gonna need something red to hang to retell your story. And then when the army came, were they okay? Oh, okay. So when the army came, they were safe, right? Because she put out the red rope from her window. All right, now also we can take off our costumes. So, oh, I can see so much better without these glasses on. Oh, I can breathe and talk so much better. Are you gonna take off your costume? Okay, I'm gonna take off my hat. Maybe. Oh my goodness, Woo. Oh, 
so much better. It's fun to play superheroes, isn't it kids? It's fun and it's neat, but we want to remember that we're all superheroes because we have God that gives us strength and courage and we can love like Jesus. And that is amazing. Just like Rahab loved like Jesus and she protect the spies. She said, look, he has glasses, kind of like Noelle's wearing her glasses. <laughs> is that Noelle? There she is. All right. So Rahab said, come into our, come into my house. And they went in and they were safe. And then she hung a red rope, which we had a little red feather from my cape, my hat, and um, put it out there so that when the army came, she was safe. All right, kids, we are in a new month, so we are going to do our Bible verse for this month. Are you guys ready? Let's take out our Bibles and open them up to Deuteronomy. Can you repeat after me with the kids? Deuteronomy 31.6. 31.6. Good job. All right. Be strong. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. And he could say, afraid. So be afraid. strong and courageous. Do, do not, not be afraid. afraid. <laughs> For the Lord your God goes with you. And you can stand up and march. For the Lord your God goes with you. So let's do it again, kids. Are you ready? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. And that is found in Deuteronomy 31, 6. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to hang out here with my superhero fashionista, Miss Super Fashionista with her cape and glasses. I think, I think we and we hope that you guys have a great week and we can't wait to talk to you about being strong heroes, just like the heroes in the Bible this month. All right. Bye kids.